Yo. <laughs> Hello there, there. I'm Robert. and I'm Vanessa, and we are late to the party, and it's the season finale of The Last of Us. We're finally here. It felt like it just flew by. I know. And now we're headed towards that ending. Yeah, I feel like I need more in this round, but I'm so excited to see um, how they'll do this final episode, and I look forward to what's ahead um, after this as well. I'm not, because it's just a horrible, sad, and heartbreaking world that we live in here in The Last of Us, and yeah, it's all about Joel and Ellie, and I can't wait to see how we're going to resolve this season uh, before heading off into part two, season two, eventually. But if you want to check out our full watch alongs to any of the episodes of The Last of Us, they are available on our Patreon. And if you have not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we drop episodes. Check out our retro reaction to movies of the past. Vanessa just watched Predator for the very first time, and that's available on our channel now. Also check out our reaction to The Little Mermaid, the new trailer dropped during the Oscars. That's available as well. But let's get into the season finale of The Last of Us. Now. now. Oh, damn, we're going back. Yeah, we are. Ashley! Ashley! I just closed my eyes, I hear Ellie, Ellie from the game, or Pike. <laughs> or Pike. Fireflies. It had a firefly symbol on the silo. <laughs> Baby's coming. It wouldn't be HBO without a birthing scene somewhere in the season. <laughs> uh, the switchblade. And you're giving birth. It's the worst. Uh, shoot. Oh, no. Did it get you? Popped out the baby while you were fighting. I mean, all that exertion. You didn't feel a thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, shoot. So she's infected already? Yeah. Well, it looks like she j she got bit. But that was so fast. Look at this little baby Ellie. But if you turn, there's no one to take care of the baby. She fucking told Ellie. <laughs> Who saved her? All right, so we're getting the rest of the story. Oh, yeah. It's not your fault. I cut it before I was bit. Before. It's like Blade. Yeah? A little bit like the Blade origin. Her name is Ellie. Ellie? Meet baby Ellie. Wrapped up in the jacket. Yep. And then you kill me. Marlena! Cover her ears. So much for covering her ears. I know, right? Damn. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <laughs> the good stuff. Yeah. Oh, a little boggle, huh? Have you ever played this? If you want to beat me at something, it would be this. <laughs> She's still going through the trauma. She's going to be going through that trauma for quite some time. Yeah. Play some Boggle or Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Got a little bit more of that, like, connection there, trust. Yeah, you could just see it. Yeah. He had a guitar in that RV. I was thinking maybe I could teach you. Yeah. I bet you'd be great at it. You want to learn how to play guitar? Hell yeah. I would. He's getting like extra parental now. I know, right? Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff. We find blast stuff. our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No. No, so we're going to cut through that. <laughs> She's just not in a playful mood right now. No. We've been on this journey for so long. It's almost here. I'll get you up there. You can drop that ladder down. <laughs> Maybe we go through that way. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Did you hear what I... Yeah. Boost. Got it. Oh, that was seamless. <laughs> I'd be struggling to get myself <laughs> up. I'd be like, oh, my feet dangling. My back just hurts seeing that. 
go, 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 careful, right? Damn it, Kelly. Making a racket. Careful. Yes. The giraffe. The giraffe. It's right. their Jurassic Park moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> we go to the zoo and we get to feed the giraffes. They do are like, Just feed me, give me your food. <laughs> Look at that smile. Yeah. <laughs> hey. It's a whole family. Yep. So, is it everything you hoped for? Got its ups and downs. You can't deny that view. <laughs> From the beginning of the show! Come on, guys! <laughs> we don't have to do this. I want you to know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? After all we've been through. Everything I've done. It can't be for nothing. Working in it. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's sheep ranch, the moon. <laughs> sheep ranch on the moon. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere you go. I will follow you. We finish what we started. Together. Together. <laughs> we had me in one just like this. With Sarah? No, she was gone already. It's for this second day. I was the guy who shot and missed. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. Went to pull the trigger. I, I flinched. Still don't know why. Subconsciously stopped himself. So time heals all wounds, I guess. Not all wounds. It wasn't time that did it. <laughs> it was you. You helped him. We should probably get going. I'm yeah. still wondering the mechanics of that, though, because it's a graze on the side of the head. Was it like, how do you... It, it, like the flinching, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it could be like a. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not soon enough. Oh, damn. Oh, no. no. I'll give it a five. Oh, no. Five out of ten. I mean, it's probably fireflies. Woo! They yeah, didn't probably, kill you, so. But still, you never know. It's like, oh, oh here we go again. <laughs> Why? I understand it's for your own safety, but damn, bonking someone on the head like that, it's not good for the brain. The troll didn't know who you were. Fair enough. No excuse. Fair enough, though. You are the one person I never wanted to be in debt to, but I owe you. She's being prepped for surgery. <sighs> he thinks it could be a cure, Joel. But? A cure. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. Yes find someone else there is no one else we didn't tell her we didn't cause her any fear there no. won't be any pain no you take me to her you take me to her right now oh! you gotta give her the choice if she wants to sacrifice herself for the greater good of the people that's yeah, fine but damn i was there when she was born joel so i do understand that's true. i'm the only one who understands it's a huge sacrifice you're willing to make yeah. i have no other choice you do ellie's choice i do Walking out to the highway, leave him there with his pack. Fuck, dude. He tries anything, shoot him. That's a nice little thank you for your service. Yeah. You understand, man, Joel would be fuming. Fuming. What we've learned about Joel so far, fuming right now. And he is. He's just pick your battles here. Yeah, he is. He's. It's going to pop off. I didn't hear anyone say stop. Get in the lay of the land. Keep walking. Oh, damn. No. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Oh. I don't have time for this. Oh, shit. shit. Yeah, he'll find her no matter what. Hey, you guys went about it all wrong. She saved his life, he's saving hers. Yeah. With the music in the background. Mm -hmm. Suppressing the audio. Yep. Yeah, you don't care. I mean, he's gonna come back even what's though he, he dropped his weapon. What, yeah, what's he gonna do? Take prisoners? Yeah. Like, he can't take prisoners. They're just gonna kill him. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, any means necessary. Now you got a new gun. Yo! <laughs> it's a bloodbath. Look at this one-man army. 
And this freaking music, too. One pistol. Yeah. I'm already starting to cry. <laughs> Unhook her. I won't let you take her. Unhook her. Hell of a shot. Literally. And artistically. Yep. Unless at least he left the other nurses alive. Yeah. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? But it isn't for you to decide. That's right. Or yeah. Him. Or him. It was up to Ellie. It was up to Ellie. Because I think she'd want to do what's right. You didn't ask her. And you know it. It's not too late. Even now. Nah, it's too late. Doc is dead. Can't be the only Doc in town, though. That jump cut. Yep. Take it slow. The drugs are still wearing off. You were running some tests on you. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. Raiders attacked the hospital. I barely got you out of there. Ah, uh, Joel. Are people hurt? Yes. Yes. All of them. It's more than okay. I'm taking this home. He wasn't gonna let his daughter die again. No. <laughs> You've just come after her. <laughs> this world can't leave anybody alive because retribution will be in order. She would have liked you. Well, she was a lot more, I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a put down to her. Yeah. She had a killer smile. Again, not saying that you don't. Aww. Do you know why I think she'd like you? She just has a different killer smile. Because you're funny. <laughs> not much further now. Home sweet home. Hey, wait. Ask. You can feel like, like you've come to an end. You don't know what to do next, but if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. Yeah. And maybe that's not what you want. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. I know he's just trying to protect her, but. Okay. But she's unsure. Yeah, I think she's just unsure. Damn. <sighs> Damn. Getting a little carpet tunnel playing the game, huh? <laughs> yeah, Down I to a T. I for guarantee you, like, the sales are going to spike for part two and part one. Yeah. Because people one aren't going to want to wait. I know. I want to go back and play it again, but I kind of want to buy part one to, for the updated graphics. The, yeah, the upgraded uh, re-release. Yeah. Or the remake. This is a good game. It's a hell of a good game. I know that you have your reservations with part two. But I I had a lot of fun with part two too. That was a that was a good game too. See for me it's the construction and how the layout of how things play out is what I have an issue with. Yeah, no, I gotcha. I could take it and rearrange certain things and I'm like, there. It's so much better. Yeah, I gotcha. But that's not how it plays, literally. Right. So I was super curious, uh, like certain things that happened in the video game, how they were going to do it in this uh, part, uh, especially that part where Joel needs her to go up and get the uh, ladder, uh, ladder um, and she's not there to, you know, lift up. She's kind of in her own mind, in her own mindset. And they do that in the game, too. And it was just uh, great that they showed that moment there. And then the, also the moment with the giraffe. Like, that was one of my favorite moments in the game. <laughs> See, I don't remember any part with the ladder, but I do remember the giraffe. But no, this episode was definitely uh, a very, you know, it was a solemn end to the entire season. It's a solemn end to the game as well, yeah. because obviously in our minds, we're building up to this save the apocalypse or save the world from the apocalypse. And you get there and it really is all for nothing in this sense that 
they're going to kill Ellie. Ellie is going to die in order to save everybody. But the problem is that nobody is asking Ellie. Nobody is talking to Ellie about this. Even Joel's not talking to her. Marlene isn't talking to her. Like nobody is bringing her into the converse conversation. And that's why when I see what goes down here with the fireflies, I'm like, well, that's what you guys get. You, appre you approached this situation wrong. And when it comes to Joel, you approach your situation wrong as well. So everybody should have been talking to Ellie about right. this. And it was, I, it was Ellie's. It should have been Ellie's decision always, from the very beginning. Always should have been Ellie's decision. So um, it, it's it's I, the balls on the creators, Druckmann and everybody who created the game to give us that because the whole time we're playing for an absolution. We're playing for salvation. Yeah. And it ain't, it ain't gonna happen, man. No. You wipe out everybody who is there to try and save the world, and it comes down to a father and a daughter, you know, even though it's not his daughter, but he is not going to let what parental, happened to Sarah happen to Ellie. So right. he isn't gonna let the government or these authority figures decide what is going to happen to this innocent girl. Who has no say in what's going on. And so, yeah. I do like that they gave us that moment uh, when they're walking to the the hospital when he's talking about, like, when Ellie says, you know, I guess time heals all wounds. And he's like, no, this time, like, there was something else. And that was Ellie. Sure. Ellie was healing his wounds. Yeah. Um, so we can understand where, you know, where uh, Joel is coming from wanting to save her because he he's not going to go through all this and just not have her there. Yeah, because I feel like that that would destroy that would destroy him. And so he does what he does. And <laughs> in the game, when I played this moment and you're about to get Ellie, I was like, just let me take her. I'm so sorry. I do not want to take you down. I do like the conversation that Joel and Ellie did have where she's saying, is it all for nothing? Like we, we've come this far. Is it look at all we've been through? He's taking that into account when it comes to saving her. Yes. Saving her was it all for nothing yes. to not save her. That was the whole point of what he was doing. Granted, she was cargo, but she stopped being cargo. She saved his life. She became, you know, his his companion. His number two. I mean, that's his daughter. Yeah. He's going to do what he can to protect her. Baby girl is who she became. So, you know, Marlene was a little bit better at disassociating that kind of relationship from the get-go and somebody who you thought would have been that way, which is Joel. Yeah, man, that you, you reignited that connection between him and Sarah by going through this adventure with Ellie and there ain't no damn way he is going to give her up uh, for the world. I'm super curious. What will people think? Um, like what your thoughts on it? Like, what would you have done in this situation if you were in Joel's sho shoes? Um, it's just all around. There are so many moving parts when it came to the decisions that were made. And did uh, Pedro Pascal delivered sure. on it? <laughs> I love as he's going through the the hospital how they suppress the audio yeah. a little bit, and it's just it's the a music. It's a massacre. He's just yeah. running through there, running and gunning and killing every. Not even running and gunning. He's going through it like meticulously, like the Terminator <laughs> in the police station. You'll see that, and when we do a reaction to Terminator One, since you've never seen it, That's true. but he just goes through there casually taking everybody out, and I love the way they shot it for the series. So. Guys, what did you think of the finale of The Last of Us? Let us know down in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And did the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking. Gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party. Fuel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon. Talked about our retro reactions that we're doing for movies of the past. Vanessa just watched Predator on our channel. Go check that out. Check out some of the other reactions we have going on. Pedro Pascal isn't over when it comes to us. So we're watching The Mandalorian. We got The Mandalorian. We Just starting, too. Daddy. So, yeah, <laughs> with baby Grogu trading yes. in Ellie for Grogu on our channel. But thank you so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.